everyone, it's Kevin and Frank from Cruising with Wheels. We're back, and today we're talking about Royal Caribbean food. Is it free, or is there a fee? Check it out. So today we're going to talk about Royal Caribbean. Oh boy! I know, and all the great food that you're going to be able to find in their restaurants. I know it's our favorite part of cruising, and I probably think it's your favorite yes. part of cruising. Whether it's a complimentary restaurant or a specialty restaurant, mm -hmm. the food is going to be awesome. And Royal Caribbean is different from Carnival, mm -hmm. is different from NCL, right. is different from all the different cruise lines and that's why we've prepared food videos for each of the cruise right. lines because this one will be outlining royal like frank said and they have different timing options for your cruise dining right so why don't we start there all right well, so royal caribbean has two options for dining the first would be flexible and the second is traditional we are going to tell you all about flexible dining first so flexible dining is what, Frank? Well, flexible dining is kind of like any time dining. You pick. You pick whether you want to eat at 5 or at 6 or at 7 <clears> or <throat> 8 or whenever you want to pick. It's totally right. up to you, hence the term flexible. Flexible. Now with flexible, your options for seating uh, when you go to the dining room would be you can seat, sit anywhere you want, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you're not restricted. Right. So, for the flexible dining option, you have to prepay your gratuities ahead of time. They have to be ensured that those are paid because they're not sure when you're going to be dining. Correct. And, you know, we, we personally like to prepay our gratuities ahead of time anyway, so we, it really isn't a big yeah. deal when we've traveled We love to prepay as much as we can. The, uh, the next dining time option would be traditional. Mm -hmm. And... You know, you've done traditional. You yep. did it on the Costa Europa. Uh, traditional is you eat your dinner at the same time every evening yep. at the same table and have the same wait staff, yep. right? Yep. So you're assured of the same smiley faces throughout the entire cruise. Now, whether you pick the early time seating mm -hmm. or you pick the later uh, dining option, um, that's strictly up to you. We, we usually right. like to do a little early. We like to do the early, but we tend not to do the traditional seating no. anyways. So that will bring us to uh, the complimentary uh, dining. Yes, let's talk about they have on the, the free food. Free, free, free. free we love free. Always good. Now, I want to preface uh, that these venues aren't necessarily on all of the ships in the Royal Caribbean line i will try to um i will try to put it up on the screen uh what ships if they're ship specific or not right because there's some uh, that are <clears throat> so where are we going to start we're going to start with the main dining room where right. everyone usually goes for dinner a nice sit down dinner now uh with uh royal caribbean the main dining rooms uh, would be a, a large area. Most of the time they're a multi-level. Mm -hmm. yep. um, and uh, there will be handicap access yep. for uh, the guests that require that. In addition to being multi-levels, you'll be getting a multi-course meal, whether it be Yum. breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Right. So you go to the main dining room morning, noon, and night. And uh, usually, Generally, they'll have one side of the menu will be an everyday selection, so that will not change. Right. Um, and then they have their, you know, uh, today's menu, right. which cycles through and changes. Yeah. Sometimes they do it depending on what port you're in, you know. But, you know, you'll get standard everyday fare like a strip steak. Or chicken. Or, and, or some fish dish. Right. Um, or everyday Caesar salad. Now, Whatever. if you're a picky eater, 
Don't, or you have children, don't be afraid to ask for a kid's menu. Right. Because they have a great kid's menu and anybody can order from it. You just have to ask for right. it. Right. I was on a cruise, this was before I met Kevin, and there was a guy on the cruise and he ate nothing but chicken nuggets from the kid's menu. Wow. That's all he ate. Oh, he's yeah, missing I was, out. I was like, oh my goodness, dude. What's the problem? <laughs> but um, they have a variety of food. Correct. Beef, chicken, Fish. seafood, yep. pork. Um, very global, as they would say. Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't want for a thing. The uh, second complimentary venue on the Royal Caribbean ships would be the Windjammer Cafe. It's their buffet. Yes, the main buffet. I'm pretty sure they've renamed all of their buffets the Windjammer now. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, you'll, you'll have um, uh, culinary delights from around the world. Yeah, you're going to yeah. have Asian. You're going to have burgers and hot dogs. Uh, uh, Indian mm -hmm. foods. Mm -hmm. uh, barbecues. Dally. Right. Uh, sections of nothing but salads. Mm -hmm. Macaroni salad, pasta salads, bean salads, regular salad salads. Um, you know, a lot of food. Usually, Fish. usually it depends on what meal you're having as to what the selection will be out there. Right. So, you know, and it's going to change. Breakfast will be breakfast foods. Right. <laughs> I mean, obviously, lunch is lunch type foods. Uh, you know, we've seen a lot of lunch foods on some dinner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like really. this has been recycled from lunch. I think I saw this. Now, you know, one of my favorites on the Royal Caribbean ships is the pizza. They have awesome pizza. <laughs> the pizza place is called Sorrento's. Sorrento's Pizza. Yes, it's, it's New York-style pizza. So it's what we're used to because we are native New Yorkers. Right. Can you imagine getting this lovely giant pizza? It's delicious. And after that, the next complimentary venue is the Coastal Kitchen. Oh. Yeah, now that's predominantly uh, Mediterranean flair. Okay. Um, you know, Italian, Greek. Right. Uh, maybe a little dabble with the French. Right. <laughs> but the foods and the spices that go along with that. Mm -hmm. That's the Coastal Kitchen. So what's the next uh, complimentary venue we're looking at? I don't know. It's the Brasserie 30. Is that that 30-minute place? Yes. They do something? What they do is they do like a lunch, brunch, and sea days. That's what they do. Oh, yes. It's only open on sea days. Yes. So you can head to that on a sea day and see what that is all about. Well, I personally like the Park Cafe. Oh, yeah. That's, it's kind of a quickie. Um, very casual, you know, kind of, you know, menu board kind of uh, venue. But for those of you that are into seafood. Well, I would never eat there because I don't do seafood. Yeah, we're, but in, inside the Windjammer Cafe, they yeah. have, uh, it's inside the Windjammer, it, right? It is. It's, it's jade uh, yes. sushi. Yes. Ugh. I know, but again... <laughs> I know we're not we're not a seafood kind of couple, but for those that are and into sushi, it is part of the Windjammers uh, offerings in the in the main right. buffet for free sushi. So we can't speak to how good or right. bad it is. So please comment below, comment below. if you eat sushi and you've eaten at Jade right. Sushi. I know. We like to hear from you because our subscribers always ask us, "Oh, have you had the sushi? Is it good? Is it this?" And we frankly go. Bleh. <laughs> now, the next thing on the list for complimentary, you know, it should have been named Frank's. Oh, my God. Line <laughs> us up. I know. We, you know, we, we want to be there first thing in the morning, oh, get them fresh and hot. It's Boardwalk Donuts. Uh-huh, baby. Because we are headed for my selection of free donuts. <laughs> it should say Frank's Donuts. That's right. It's located in the Boardwalk... Um, I guess neighborhood. I think they call them neighborhoods, actually. Yeah, I think so. Uh, it's in the boardwalk neighborhood. Bo boardwalk? It's in the no, boardwalk. The boardwalk neighborhood, like Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. No, it's, it's, it's the boardwalk. It looks like Coney Island. 
That's where the uh, where the carousel is, and but I'm going there to get my donuts <laughs> and right. my mocha cappuccino specialty coffee. <laughs> that's where I'm going. Maybe. Or that's where I'm rolling. Maybe though, but but I like Cafe Latitudes okay. better. Right, because you probably coffee. get more options there. Right, and they uh, that's for your big old caffeine fix. That's right. Hello, thank you. Caffeine fix. I'm a one cupper kind of guy. That's all I drink. One cup. That's it. Yep. No more. I can't handle it. <laughs> Unlike some people. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? On the boardwalk, on the boardwalk, they oh, have has, the dog house. Uh, that's because that's something you would go to because Kevin loves hot dogs. So while he's getting his donuts, I'd be getting my yeah, hot dog. Headed to the dog house. Yes. Well, they've got. And they, maybe I'd get him a little hot dog, and maybe he might get me some donuts. But guaranteed that I wouldn't end up with my donut that he got me. Because it's happened before, people. Mm. Go get your own. <laughs> so if you want a sweet pastry or because somebody ate your donut, <laughs> you can always get it at the Cafe Promenade. Yes. Right? So the Cafe Promenade serves coffee, snacks, pastries, sandwiches. It's and a, it's a good segue yes. into specialty yes. venues for us during this video because they serve Starbucks at Cafe Promenade. Now, that would probably be an additional fee. Yeah. So you know it. We haven't and been we... On, on the Royal Ship yet that has the Starbucks in it. Right. But when I was on it a while ago, they didn't have it. Right. So... So, uh, we're assuming that Cafe Promenade, if I walk up and I say, I want a Starbucks, blah, 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 uh, which we don't do Starbucks very much. No, not really. We're, we're a Dunkin' kind of people. Yeah. Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> I know. So, uh, we're assuming that they'll, they'll charge a fee for that. So, you know what? I, we're not going to segue into specialty restaurants. We're actually going to talk about something that's complimentary, but only part of it is complimentary. It's kind of a half and half. Yeah, it's kind of half and half. Kind of like that uh, promenade, cafe promenade. <laughs> half and half. Get it? Bad joke. Anyways, room service. They have room service on Royal Caribbean. And um, the Continental the, uh, breakfast is complimentary. It's complimentary. Right. It's, they'll deliver it to your room. Make sure you tip them. That's Make right. sure you tip them. But uh, it is complimentary for the continental breakfast, right. coffee, tea, a Danish. pastries. Yeah. You're not going to get like a hot meal. Right. But if you want a hot meal or you want lunch or dinner in your room, whatever, it's a $7.95 uh, fee. It's a delivery charge. Yeah. Um, and uh, there's a standard room service menu on most of the ships. Next, we're going to segue into... Specialty restaurants, yes. my favorite. I know, we love it. I know that the other restaurants, you know, are free. And they're good. And they're good, but we have an affinity for certain specialty restaurants. And Royal Caribbean, let me tell you, has a oh. multitude mm -hmm. of specialty restaurants. It is unbelievable how many they have. They, they, it's great. And they, and they do something very nice and very special for families right. uh, with children, which is uh, any child that is, what are the ages, 6 to 12? 6 to 12. 6 to 12 can now dine for, in a specialty restaurant, yeah. for $10. Right. And children 5 and under eat for free. Right. Now the and they have their own children's menu. Right. They have their own menu. Uh, so keep that in mind, because if you're 12 year old, <laughs> wants to order a 32-ounce steak, it's not going to be $10. They're going to be charged the adult price. Exactly. This is where you would just hand that child the free kid's menu. Exactly. <laughs> um, we suggest that if you're going to go uh, to the specialty venues, that you purchase a package. Yes. Um, with Royal Caribbean, they offer packages. They offer three different ones. You can get a three-restaurant package for $75. A four-restaurant package for $90. And a five-restaurant package for $105. Right. Now, that is per person price. Right. So, we're both going. It would be 
say $75 for Frank for three meals yep. and $75 for me for Sadly, three meals. but true. But very well worth it, yes. in our yeah. opinion. Yeah, we, have, we found that once you break it down, the specialty restaurant prices are no different yeah. than any of the restaurants in, in, in Rochester, um, where we live. Where we live. Now, some of you, you know, you, you all know that we're from New York. Some of you don't know where Rochester, New York is. From, is. So, we've, I've seen comments like, uh, their uh, specialty restaurant is expensive. You keep saying that, you know, it's no different than the prices in New York. Where we live, the price for a restaurant for us to go out and eat is 25 30 bucks right that's about it we do not live in new york city right where okay. it's a hundred bucks a person At to go least. out to eat we are in upper western new york on the border of canada mm -hmm. sitting on lake ontario middle class you know right. uh, median income is probably forty fifty thousand dollars a year so right. we're not talking where we make a lot of money and we're, we're not eating. down in Westchester right. County you know, near New York City that's right. not where we are so we're looking all nervous going New York oh what are you crazy <laughs> right no, we're way sorry up. sorry just had to go on that tangent for a second <laughs> but our first specialty restaurant is called Wonderland Ooh, my body is a wonderland <laughs> oh my god, you're crazy. And what is Wonderland all about? Well, it's a... It's kind of like the group Earth, Wind and Fire. That's what it's about. Is it really? Yes. We've never gone there. No, we have We've never not. gone there, so comment below if you've ever right. eaten but there. It's all about, the, um, the, uh, uh, about uh, finding your element of sun, uh, earth, fire, water, and dreams. Now I'm off of that. Just give me the food. And, and so the food is all based on that. And so the chef, the chef mixes it up with these culinary delights based on uh, all the elements. And uh, it's yeah, it's really kind of it's it's interesting. It's it's interesting. I don't know. I don't know if we would do it. But I don't know if we do people it. People that are a little eclectic, right? You know, and you know, want an experience can go to Wonderland. Hence the name Wonderland. Right. The the. Second on our list is uh, Jamie's Italian, right. which it speaks for itself. And it's it's something Italian. We, we would probably do. We would try it. We would try it. You know, you're from an Italian family. We cook yeah. Italian all the time, so it's, it's a little iffy. Yeah, we, we say but, that when we're here at home and somebody says you should try this Italian restaurant. When you're used to home Italian cooking, you know, like my grandmother. Right. Uh, you know, grandma, your grandmother is not in the kitchen at Jamie's Italian restaurant on the ship. So that you have to get in your head. Uh, right, right. right then and there. Right. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's, it's Italian food, um, and it looks delicious, doesn't it? It does. Oh, oh my God, God. the menu, so delightful. <laughs> the next we, uh, we do really enjoy, it's Chop's Grill. Yeah. It's a steakhouse. Yep. Um, and they, uh, they have all grade A meats. Um, they have, they oddly enough have fresh seafood, uh, if you enjoy seafood mm -hmm. and they have signature desserts. Oh, I'm all on that. <laughs> I am on it. Like you wouldn't believe, uh, delish, yeah. delish. Yeah. Uh, if you're familiar with NCL, it's similar to Cagney Steakhouse. So, Chops Grill is a must, in yeah. our opinion, on uh, RCCL. Right. Now, the next uh, specialty restaurant on the list is Michael's Genuine Pub. Now, that is from uh, famous chef Michael Schwartz, and it's pub food. <laughs> May the Schwartz be with May you. May the Schwartz be with you. <laughs> <laughs> and people are like, what the heck are they talking oh, about? Oh, gosh. Those of you... <laughs> we'll know. Uh, but it's pub, it's American uh, gastro pub. Comment below if you know what we were talking uh, about. Uh, uh, from our, uh, our good uh, friend, Michael Schwartz. <laughs> That's right. And uh, yeah, awesome food. Um, oh, 100, is it 150? It's 150 Central Park. 150 Central yes. Park. That's located in the Central Park neighborhood with all the 
trees and and oh it's amazing and uh it, isn't that also michael schwartz it is michael schwartz um, absolutely he's got his hand in everything right and it's all american dining mm -hmm. um american gourmet dining yes, gourmet dining uh and uh it's delish delish <laughs> delish it's all artisan ingredients and um i don't know I'll delish have... Specialty <laughs> ingredients, I guess. All that special crap. Right. Now <laughs> that the next, makes everything good. <laughs> now the next uh, specialty restaurant is Vitality Cafe, and that's that's a uh, healthy food. That's I, yeah. I, I know, I know. Now you just got <laughs> out of the gym. You just got out of the gym. You've done your hour plus workout, uh, and you're like, I need a healthy smoothie. I need to go have some fruit. You know. Okay, so you're headed, well, someone, not Kevin, is headed to the Vitality <laughs> Cafe, and that's what. So if you want fruits and yogurts and all that kind of uh, fresh, healthy stuff, uh, that's where you're headed. Uh, again, the next one uh, for our fish-loving friends is uh, Izumi, and that is traditional Japanese food. Uh, so again, you're looking at sushi and all the Japanese food delicacies that go with that. Squid. Yeah. It's all those horrible, you know, horrible. It's, I, it's, I shouldn't say horrible. It, and you shouldn't say, it's pretty to look at. I love looking at the pictures. Uh, the food is, is beautifully presented. Mm -hmm. It actually is like a work of art. Now, this is also the place where they do the, um, the hot rock plates. Oh, yeah. So they kind of, your food cooks while it's on the plate and it's hot rocks. It's kind of interesting, yeah. but I don't want to go to a restaurant where I have to cook my food, but yeah. it's kind of kitschy and yeah. you might like it. So right. if you like sushi and you like Japanese, right. give it's, it a try. It's for you. Uh, the next one is uh, almost oh, what most of, the, yeah. most of the cruise lines have in Royals Caribbean's, their chef's table. Right. It really is a once in a lifetime. Yeah experience because the chef has designed the meal right. for you and the people at the table and um you're part of a group of about 14 guests mm -hmm. in a private room where the chef has created a specific five course menu for you so you you don't know what you're gonna have you right. have to have an open mind and of course there will be no substitutions <laughs> <laughs> okay if that's the kind of guest you are can i have this and <clears throat> substitute of that and i can't have heavy cream and can i have... the chef's table is not for you right. these are for people who uh, have an open mind uh, in terms of their culinary palates correct next on the list is uh, a Brazilian restaurant called Samba's Grill. Right. Brazilian and food. We have done Brazilian yes. restaurants before. It's very similar mm -hmm. to um, Moderno on NCL. They're both Truscarias, uh, which is uh, like the parade of meat. <laughs> right. They walk around. They've got their, uh, what is that called? I never remember the name. I can't remember. It's a big silver spike thing. And they're carving the food for you. Yep, and, and it's, you know, red for stop and green for go, meaning you... Right, and they have their usual, the soups, the salads, and the appetizers mm -hmm. are set up buffet style for you to get up, whatever. But when it comes to the main meats of the, the beef and the chicken and the lamb and the sausages and the pork and whatever, their strolling servers are carving it for you on your plate. Right. So, if that's the kind of experience you want then Samba Grill Brazilian uh, restaurant is for you. We enjoyed it. We did yeah, it we once. Did. We did it once. We I don't the, know. Yeah, we had the experience. Yeah. I don't think I'd do it again. Yeah. Been there, yeah. done that. Yeah, that's how I feel yeah. about it. So who's next? I can't read what that says. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's pronounced Sabor, and it's Spanish. Okay? It's a Spanish oh, restaurant yes. flavor. A vibrant dance across the plate and the palate of Spanish cuisine. Did you love that? I could do a video. Oh, we are doing a video. You're such a geek. <laughs> You're such a geek. Sabor. Well, the next restaurant is more up my alley. Yeah. Giovanni's Table. Giovanni's Table. It's a, it's a trattoria. It's an Italian trattoria. And a trattoria is basically 
a truck stop in Italian. It means truck stop. But it's a little bit more fancier than a truck stop. Ooh, wow. Toasted herb focaccia, pastas, braised meats, dishes, stews, lasagnas. It's really, oh really God. good. Okay, are we there yet? <laughs> right? So check out Giovanni's table. table. Yes. And then we have on the next one, Solarium Bistro Restaurant. Ooh. I know. You know it's, what that is, right? It's by the pool. It's by the pool. The solarium. And it probably has a French flair. Yes. Mm -hmm. But again, it's more uh, by the pool activities, healthy eating. Eh. Don't say that. <laughs> Living through healthy eating. I no, know. thank you. I'm on a cruise. I'm going to pig out and get fat. So next on the list is probably something for both of us, something that we absolutely love. And who is that? That's Johnny, Johnny Rockets. Rockets. I know, Johnny Rockets, which is all your hot dogs and burgers and fries and all that kind With of great food. the 50s flair. Yes, of the jukebox. <laughs> Milkshakes. Yeah. Oh. Ice cream sundaes. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. I'll Warm. take that. Yeah, sitting in the 1950s <laughs> in the Chevy. But I ain't sharing them all. Okay, it's okay. I won't ask you to share. <laughs> I won't ask you to share. <laughs> and of course, we like we talked about before, Starbucks. Starbucks. Yeah. Starbucks. And Starbucks, I think, is only available right now on the Allure of the Seas. So... We're so, hoping that they're going to expand Starbucks. Well, I don't know if they're going to because, know, because they're offering Starbucks drinks on uh, NCL. Yeah. It's going to be on the I NCL know. Bliss now. So I wonder if, if they're so, kind of going to take it. Right. That's what I'm thinking. I'm you thinking know, they that don't the contract will sever. Right. They uh, they don't they don't do the same thing. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Well, we'll it's keep kinda, our eye on that. Yeah. As to who's going to get it. Mm-hmm. Especially since since they serve them in that other exactly. cafe, right. too. So I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe they'll pick up someone else. Right. Maybe Lavazza will go over there. Who knows? Because Lavazza used to be the coffee, uh, the premier coffee on NCL. Or Illy, because they talked about it in oh, their cafe. Yeah. Starbucks or Illy is offered in their right. complimentary uh, coffee venue. So... Yeah, so if they, if they sever ties with Starbucks and they go strictly with Illy or... This is sheer yeah, speculation, Sheer speculation. Because uh, we do know that Starbucks will be on the NCL Bliss, so it makes you wonder. And we know they never cross over and they right. don't do... You know, these cruise lines don't do the same thing. So. Right. Yeah, we're going to get to the bottom of this. Uh, well, you know what they have is... Um, that's kind of like a specialty. What? And uh, on Royal Caribbean, they have like a mystery dinner oh, theater. Oh, yeah, I know. Isn't that? I always think that's so cool where you can sit down at a table and have your dinner and watch a show. Well, you could be part of the show in the mystery oh, dinner theater. Oh, gosh. I don't want. Is it like a. You, know, <laughs> you could be the killer. Oh, my God. I could be like a <laughs> Captain Kangaroo. <laughs> murderer in the library with the candlestick candle candle stick or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, mystery dinner theater. Yes. That's cool. Yes. I love it. I'd be, I'd be up for that. Yeah. And what else? Last on our list? Oh my God. I would pay for this. I want to be part of the cupcake cupboard. <laughs> I want to go. I want to go and I sit there and learn how to... Make yeah. the cupcakes and do the cupcake decorating. Well, um, a lot of the, a lot of our subscribers might not know, but I used to work at a bakery, <laughs> so I probably so could teach this I know. class. You already know how to do that, and I only know but, how to, I only yeah. know how to eat cupcakes. Wow. I want to learn how to decorate cupcakes, then eat cupcakes. The best part of it is, is you get to eat the cupcakes I that know. you decorate. I but I don't know if, if I once I decorated it, I don't know if I could like eat it. Oh, I'll eat it. Because I would be like, it'd be like, like eating one of your babies or something, something that you created. So mm -hmm. I don't know if I could do that with my cupcakes, if I could eat them or not. I don't know. So we hope that we've gone over uh, all the uh, dining venues for you and dining options for you available on Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. And now you know which ones are free and which ones are for a fee. Cha-ching. Now, we want to tell you that we are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. If you have a question, a comment, 
Or maybe you just want to say hi. Right. Make sure you go on over to Facebook and like us and follow us on Instagram. And don't forget to hit subscribe, subscribe. on our YouTube channel <laughs> and you'll get all the notifications if you so desire on all the brand new videos that we're going to be releasing. Right. If you want to make sure you get all the right. notifications, there's a little bell. You can click on that little bell and then every time we have a new video, you will be notified. That's right. So, remember to travel safe and cruise often. See you on the next cruise.